What's up everyone? Today I'm continuing to make some Christmas cards for friends and family. So in this lesson we're drawing a Christmas elf. Now we're going to get started in the center of our page and draw two circles for the eyes. So let's start over on the left side. Start from the top of that circle. So we come all the way down towards the bottom. And then pull that back up towards the top. Now we're going to leave a gap in between the eyes and draw the same thing on the right. So let's line up the top of the circle on the right side. It's going to bring that down towards the same height. And then back up towards the top. Let's add a small highlight circle on the top left side of each eye. So up against the edge of the eye, you can draw that circle coming in and then back out. Let's line this up on the right. And then we'll fill the inside of the eyes in black. Now we're going to move in between the eyes and draw on the nose. Let's line up with the bottom edge of the eyes, move to the center, and then start on the left side. We're going to draw a curve that comes down, and then up on the right. Let's step up and draw a short curve going up and down for the bridge of the nose. Let's move down and draw on the mouth. We're going to start over on the left side, curve the mouth coming down, and then back up. And then we'll add the cheeks on the corner of the mouth. We're going to step up, curve down, and then out. Let's move out to the side and draw the lower half of the head. From the outside edge of the left eye, we're going to step out, and curve down, just underneath the mouth, round up the chin, and then pull that up on the right side. Let's bump out the side of the head, starting back from the left, curve out, and then up. Now we're going to connect the top of the head with a curve for the bottom edge of the hat. We're going to go up in the middle, and then bend that back down on the right side. Let's go back down to the side of the head, curve the hairline coming in and then up. Let's add some hair coming down the center of the forehead. We start over on the left, come down and in towards the left eye, taper that back out towards the right, add another point, coming down and across, go out and up on the right, we're going to stop right about there. Now we're going to create an overlap, stepping down, go out and up. Now we're going to add two thin eyebrows above each eye, starting over on the left, curve up and then down. Let's move out to the side and draw on the ears. From the top corner of the head, we're going to angle up and out on either side. And then from the outside, we'll curve the ear coming down and then in toward the side of the head. Let's go back and add a fold inside the ear. Start from the side of the head, curve up and out. Now we're going to work our way up towards the top of the hat. Let's start from the side of the head. Just going to curve this out and then in. And then we'll add some points along the edge of the hat. Starting back on the left, angle down and in with a straight line. And then we'll add another point. Going up and in. And we'll pull that back down. Let's add one more point in the center. Starting back on the left, we're just going to go up and in towards the middle and pull that down on the right side. Now we're going to fold the hat over towards the left side. So let's start from the side of the hat, draw a circle, going all the way around and then back in. And we'll add some detail to the belt. Starting right in the middle, start with a small circle. And we'll fill that in black. And then from the left side of that circle, draw a straight line going out. Let's draw on the top of the hat. We're going to start from the top of the bell. It's going to curve up. And then bend this out towards the right side. And then from here, we're going to bend the hat going out. And then down on the right. Just leaving a little overlap on the outside. And then from the left side, we're going to step down and add a fold. Going up and then bending that in. Let's go back to the top of the bell, step down, curve up 
and in behind the hat. Now that we captured the head, let's move down and draw on the side of the body. We start over on the left side, step down, draw on the side of the body going out, and then down towards the left hip, move over towards the right, go out, and down towards the right hip. And we'll close off the bottom, starting back on the left, curve down, and back up on the right. Let's go back to the left side, step up and draw that same curve to the top edge of the belt. And then in the center, we'll add the buckle. Leave a gap in the middle, draw two lines, one on the left and then one on the right. And we'll trace the buckle along the inside, coming down the side, bottom, up, and close off the top. Let's draw the bottom edge of the tunic underneath the belt, from the hips, we're going to angle down and out towards the side. And we'll angle up and in. And then from here we're going to pull this down and in towards the middle. And down on the left and right side. Now we're going to tuck the legs in underneath the tunic. Start from the center, draw a straight line coming all the way down towards the heel. And then we'll round up the feet. Let's we'll start in the center, curve down up on the left and right side. Let's curl the tip of the shoe, starting back on the left, go out, up, and then in. And we'll curl this back around towards the outside of the ankle. It's coming around and then up. Let's close off the top of the shoe, starting back on the left, down and then up on the inside and do the same thing on the right. Now from the outside of the shoe we draw a straight angle line aiming towards the bottom of the hip. It's going up and out. Now I'm going to add some stripes across the leg. Starting on the left side, we're going to step up, just draw that same curve, going down and up. Do the same thing on the right. And we'll continue this all the way up toward the top of the leg. And now we're going to move back up and draw on the arms. We're going to start halfway between the chin and the bottom of the belt. So starting right here, curve the arm going out and then down towards the wrist. Line this up on the right and do the same thing. Now from the wrist, we're going to add the thumb. Draw a half circle, coming in and then out. Close off the end with a bracket. Let's add in three fingers. We're going to start from the bottom of the thumb, come down, I'm just going to bend this up around that bracket, step down, go down and up the second finger, and then the third finger, we're going to go out, bend the arm coming up, and then in underneath the head. And now we're going to add the cuff of the sleeve. Start from the top of the thumb, start by curving up, and then out on either side. And then from the outside, we're going to step in, draw two straight angle lines, coming in towards the middle. And we'll add a point in the center, going up and then back down. Let's move to the center and add the collar. From the top of the body, we're going to angle down and in. And we're going to pull that back up and in and it'll come down towards a center point. And then from that center point, draw a straight line coming down towards the top of the belt. Let's go back up to the side of the body, draw a straight line going out towards the side. And we'll angle that back up and in towards the top of the arm. And that's pretty much it. There's our cartoon Christmas elf. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. I wanna thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.